foot apart, keep your safety, please stay seated, keeping your hands on your feet and legs and side and ready. Supervise your children, make sure you're under seven seat away from the same door opening. Our next stop is Orleans Square. Yeah. Yeah. Do your best stop is on the Pirates of the Caribbean, Big Thunder Mountain, and your closest stop for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. We're embarking on a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping at New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. Tomorrow. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon oh, and make a trip back in time yeah, to the primeval world and the age of the dinosaurs before returning to Main Street Station. As we begin our journey, remember that for a safe trip, you need to stay seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your children. Our first stop is New Orleans Square Station. But to get there, we need to pass through the wilds of Adventureland. But trust me, it's a real jungle out there. So be on the lookout. You just never know what might be lurking along the rails. Yeah, we were in there. We were fighting. Just ahead of the Golden Square Station. This station also serves for the Tierland and Puerto If you'll be leaving us here, please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Then watch your step as you're getting off. For those of you continuing on with us, we'll be resuming our trip in just a moment. This is New Orleans Square Station. New Orleans Square.
best way to repel order. And mark well the words.
feathers, dearie. Show them your flock.
Welcome, my friends, to the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. I, Safa, shall now give you counsel to seek out your miraculous journey. Here in your transportation devices are ingenious pouches for safekeeping all earthly treasures when the journey becomes bumpy. And to keep you safe and sound, here are special belts attached into the seats. Simply pull it from the right, inserting it into the left, like so. You see the excellence of this invention? Your off-road journey is high-speed and turbulent, going over rough and rugged terrain, and then suddenly you are turning sharply and dropping suddenly. It is unlike anything you have ever experienced, I assure you. Now, my friends, one final word of advice. Once you've entered the Chamber of Destiny, look not into the eyes of the idol. That would be dangerous. Very dangerous. Well, my friends, your moment is drawing near. Already I am envious of the wonders that will be true if you avoid the eyes of Mars.
is almost every single day. Any day that it doesn't rain will be missed. On our right, we have the Temple of the Forbidden Eye, where famed archaeologist Indiana Jones is looking for the most beautiful treasure in the world. Now, I don't know why he's looking in there, because you guys have already found me. On our left, a 500-pound Indo-Chinese tiger. They can jump up to 20 meters. Oh, we're only 15 meters away, but that means they'll go right over us. And now welcome to the bathing pool of the Indian elephant. Ooh, it does look like the whole herd's out today. That's unheard of. Now take as many pictures as you want to, folks. They do have their trunks on. Quick fun fact for you.
all been waiting for. The beautiful, stupendous eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water! Woo! O2H, O2H, O2H. Uh, head on your left. Told me that the fish here really do bite. Ooh, and now I know why. Let's get out of here. Just up ahead, a python sitting in a tree. H I S S I N G. One way that you can tell that it's a python and not a boa? No feathers. But we don't. Yeah, no, that's what the elephant is for. Speaking of which, did y'all know elephants have one of the best memories in the whole world? That's crazy. I wish I had a memory like that. And as we make our way back to the dog friends, remember to remain seated. Keep your hands inside the boat at all times. Now, out of all of the crews that I've taken out to the jungle today, I gotta say that you guys have absolutely been the most recent. And now I'm gonna leave you all with something that I've been wanting to say ever since we met today. Yeah, get off my boat. Engage 
exchange proposals and hold on, recruits. More ships launch.
courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields. Shields? I see no evidence. Now.
There may be no sitting on the outside rail or placing of young sailors upon them, and the young ones must be watched at all times. The water's clean. Ahoy, shipmates! We're just clearing the busy port of New Orleans and beginning our journey into the great American wilderness. Our vessel for this voyage is the proud sailing ship Columbia, the first American ship to carry the stars and stripes around the world. She's a 10-gun, three-masted merchant ship. It was back in 1787 that she first set sail from Boston Harbor, going all the way around the Horn and sailing onward to the Pacific Northwest, Hawaii, and China. In the three years it took us to make that journey, the Columbia was more than just a ship to us. She was our life and our home. Ford Midships is the main hatchway leading below decks where you may see how we lived and worked on the high seas. The galley, captain and crew's quarters are open for your inspection. For the rest of you, we invite you to stay up on deck, feel the wind in your face, and experience the wonders of this land we now know as America. One more American vessels to explore the Pacific Northwest. It was in 1792 that this very ship braved the sandbar and discovered a mighty river, which we named the Columbia, after the first ship to sail our waters. of our journey. That island off the starboard side often hides the scourge of the seas. Bloodthirsty pirates. They sometimes lie in wait to attack a passing ship such as ours and steal its bounty. Bowman, and the starboard foxhole cannon and prepare to fire a warning shot so as any curious pirates hide near the shore will know we are well armed. Those of you around the cannon best be stepping back. Way back. For the cannon, she be a mite loud, and the gunner's aim be a mite poor. Be ready to fire one. Fire one! Ooh. Now, that should put some fear in them. Looks like we're safe for now. 
but I ask all crew and passengers to keep a weather eye out. We don't want the Jolly Roger flying above this fine ship. Our ship often draws the attention of the local tribes. But look there, the chief has given us a sign of peace, which means we will be granted safe passage. Plains Indians has set up camp by the river. Since they have no written language, tribal leaders like that wise shaman on the block over there pass down their wisdom and knowledge through stories and songs. During our voyages, we sometimes stop to barter and trade with these local tribes. Villages like this one have helped many an explorer learn how to survive in this vast frontier. It's time we be setting sail for home. Hold top the flying jib. Brace for a starboard tech. Cook and helpers, stand by the pots. Shipmates, if you haven't done so, it is a good time to visit the crew's quarters below decks to see how sailors of the 1790s lived and worked while on the high seas. The lower decks will be closing when we enter port. Those of you remaining on deck, keep a close eye on the riverbanks where you may be able to see moose, elk, and other wildlife. It's been a pleasure serving with you aboard the sailing ship Columbia, the first ship to carry the stars and stripes round the world. You've been a fine crew, and we hope you'll be sailing with us again soon. All hands, 
Prepare to go ashore!
Mickey! 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 Mickey!
very much safely out of the train. Please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside, and do supervise your children. Have a jolly good ride. Su vehículo está por llegar para disfrutar de un paseo seguro del paseo. Do supervise your children.
Okay. Rule 42. The queen always wins.
Good and well, Madam Staff, give you a chance to the storyteller group for DS with Mary Lennon. Here, my dear, please remain seated at all times, keeping those hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat and out of the water because we have not cleaned them since 1956. Uh oh, look where we're going. So please don't be afraid of the whale monster, though he is a man eating whale. The blue fairy did indeed turn him into a friendly whale, so instead of eating us today, could take us to a magical land called Storybook. And yes, he is only a man eating whale, so women and children are safe. Into his belly. Her story begins with the three little pigs. As you know, that big bad wolf did indeed chase around those three little pigs to try and eat them. But fortunately for them, he lives right across from them. So now the three little pigs live happily in their straw house, wood house, and wolf proof brick house. Coming up on our left side, just around this corner, is a quiet little English village where Alice lives. Right, as you know, one golden afternoon, she followed the white rabbit down, down, down that rabbit hole right into Wonderland, where things became curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> Modern Wonderland is not your cup of tea. You're someone who likes to fly with pixie dust. On our right side here is London Park, where Peter Pan, Wendy, John, and Michael Darling first took flight to the second star of the ride. Right into Neverland, where they never, ever have to grow up. But if you're more of a desert person, straight ahead is the Kingdom of Agrabah, where a street rat named Aladdin met Princess Jasmine in the marketplace. And with the help of their good friend the genie, Aladdin and Jasmine fell in love and now live happily inside the Sultan's palace. Then speaking of love straight ahead are the same flowery archways where Aladdin and Jasmine fell in love going over, under, and sideways on a magic carpet. <laughs> Please do not be tempted by the jewels inside. We do not want to get caved in the same way Aladdin was. Coming up on our right side is a quiet little cottage where Snow White lives with the seven dwarfs of two sticky tokens from the evil queen. And yeah, just behind that little cottage up in the forest are the seven dwarfs mine where you can still hear them whistle while they work. <laughs> to our left side here is Cinderella's kingdom, where as you know her evil stepmother forbid her from attending that royal ball. But with the help of her fairy godmother, Cinderella was able to attend that ball, meet her prince charming, and now lives happily inside the pink palace up on the hill. are the bed of plants that were inspired by your 1933 short cartoon Silly Tiffany Lullaby Land. And because everything is magical here in Storybook, these plants never ever have to grow. Thanks to the help of Tinkerbell's Pixie Dust, of course. And yes, this does also include all the little trees throughout Storybook Land as they are real as well. Coming up on our left side is Toad Hall, where Mr. Toad currently resides with his friends Mole, Rat, and Badger. Uh, Fortunately for us, my friends, Mr. Toad is currently not home right now as he is in his red motor car going nowhere in particular. But if you're more of a wintry person where the cold doesn't bother you, straight ahead is the kingdom of Arendelle. Though Elsa still lives in her icy palace up in the snowy mountains, she still comes down to spend some time with her sister, Anna. Coming up straight ahead is Pinocchio's village, where a woodcarver named Geppetto crafted a wooden puppet in hopes of a real boy. And once Pinocchio saved Geppetto from the Ballium monster, the blue fairy granted Geppetto's wish, and Pinocchio became a real boy. Now 
wishes do come true under the sea as well. Like for our friend, the Little Mermaid Ariel. Right, she wished for a pair of my legs to be with her friends Eric, and her wish did indeed come true. So, behind this waterfall to our left here is a kitchen of Atlantic over Ariel of So the story sadly comes to an end. Let's remind us, please keep those speakers hands on the inside the boat as we approach the dock and please remain seated until told to do so.
necessary adjustments for your maximum enjoyment and fun.
remain seated until your rocket ship comes to a complete stop. Then, follow the arrows to the flight deck. Happy landings! Aim 
for the Zines. And remember, the targets are worth more with their legs. Please face forward and sit back in your seat. Your shield will be lowered on. Steer 30 degrees. Right, right up, 30 degrees. All in for 
Captains. G'day. This is the Captain speaking. Now that we're underway, I'd like to welcome you aboard. As the conditions of our voyage may be unpredictable, please remain seated at all times. As we leave the coast behind and head towards open water, you'll notice that this is a popular spot for divers searching for exotic fish. destination today is quite extraordinary, a newly erupting deep water volcano. Even here in the shallows, we can see evidence of such geothermal forces constantly at work. These remnants of an ancient civilization were hidden for centuries beneath the ocean floor, hidden until unearthed by a tremendous volcanic event. Steer four zero degrees. Right rudder, four zero degrees. Mind your distance to port and starboard. Aye, aye, sir. As we leave this long lost community behind, we're about to enter a community of a different kind, the Coral Reef. is a biological community that thrives in warm, shallow waters. It usually takes more than a year for a coral to grow only one inch. An amazing fact when you consider that Australia's Great Barrier Reef stretches over 2,000 kilometres. technology, we can use instruments such as our sonar hydrophones to actually hear the fish talk. Oh, where are you, sir? Too deep for you. This is not funny, and I know funny. I'm a clown. 
I am looking for my son. Ooh, I can help. Oh, Father! Oh, it's Nemo. Where? I don't know where. That's why I'm trying to find him. By who? My son, Nemo. You know that. I do. We went on a huge adventure together, which you don't remember at all. Is he orange with white stripes and looks kind of like you when he's smaller? Yes. Have you seen him? Seen who? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Bruce, remember the pledge. Right then. I am a nice shark, not, not a mindless a eating machine. These are our friends, not food. food. Right then, mates. Easy does it. You wouldn't want one of these. Nobody would believe it anyway. We better take her up before we have a run. 
one in with a sea serpent or war an encounter with a mermaid. Aye, aye, Captain. We are surfacing and approaching our home port. We've enjoyed having you aboard on this adventurous voyage. Thanks for joining us and have a top day. Thank those of you who've been with me for the Grand Circle Tour. Ah, yeah, yeah. We hope you 
you enjoyed your travels with us and that you'll come back to ride with us again real soon. For those of you staying with us, please take seated until the train comes to a full stop. Thank you for the first game of this event.